Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. Rather than looking at the ins and outs of a specific application, today I thought I'd do something a little bit different and show you how I use a specific app to do something for me day to day. So literally, it's going to be a tip video. And that application is Better Touch Tool. And I use it to help simplify and automate processes on a large number of applications on my Mac. Today, I'm going to show you how I use Better Touch Tool to help my experience in Safari become quicker and easier. OK, before we start, just a note to say where you can get Better Touch Tool from. So you can get it from the developer's site. However, it is also part of the Setup subscription. So that is how I'm going to be accessing the app today. Also, we did cover the app in detail in video 741. However, the app has undergone a few revisions since then. So watch this space because we may be looking to update it. And we can see from here, it automates routine actions on the Mac and it allows you to set up shortcuts with multiple apps. And today that's going to be Safari. So I'll close this setup window and I've got the main Better Touch Tool window sitting behind here. Now, as said, this isn't a Better Touch Tool tutorial as such. So I'm not going to be going into lengthy detail on how to use it, but I will explain a little bit of how it works as I go, just in case you're not familiar with the app. Now, this is where we create our actions. And if I click this drop down, here is where we can define what the input's going to be for the shortcuts and automations we're going to create. There are loads of options here, including the Stream Deck beta, which I'm currently checking out. However, all of the shortcuts that I personally use for Safari are done by the trackpad. So I'll select this and then just swipe here. And to add my first trackpad gesture, I can click this plus button. But look at the text. It says, add first trackpad gesture for all apps. Well, I don't at this point want a gesture that will trigger no matter which application I'm in. I want it to trigger just when I'm in Safari. So I come down to this plus button here where I can add apps to this list of apps that are here in the sidebar. Now, the top option is to select an app from the file system. But below that, I can select from a list of apps I've currently got running. And I do actually have Safari running in the background. So I'm going to select that. And we have a whole host of options we can set specifically for Safari on the right. Now, don't worry about these. You can look through them, of course, if you want to. But Better Touch Tool can seem a little bit overwhelming at first when all of this first appears. I'm going to just keep this simple and click this plus button, though, to add my first trackpad gesture for Safari. So our trigger, or rather, what am I going to do with the trackpad to initialize this action? And a list of possible gestures appears on the right. At the top, we have some single finger gestures that we can use. And as I scroll, we have two, three, four, and five finger ones too, as well as others. And then simply click to expand. And once expanded, we can see that we've got a number of different two finger gestures we can do here. We've got a tap, we've got a double tap, a click. We can swipe in different directions. But for this particular action I want to create here, I think I'm going to use a three finger gesture and I want it to be a simple three finger tap on the trackpad. So we have our trigger and now for the action, I'll click plus here. And as I'm sure you'd expect, we're spoiled for choice with the number of actions that we have. We can pull in shortcuts from the shortcuts app. We've got some notch bar actions. We can simulate mouse clicks. We can capture screenshots. There's just so much here, definitely for covering in another video. For these Safari actions, though, I almost exclusively just use simulated keyboard shortcuts. So to do that, I'm going to click. And what do I want to do? Well, this action is going to simply copy the contents of the address bar, pure and simple. That's all I want. So the shortcut to highlight the address bar is Command and L. So I'll type that. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So. If you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a Screencasts Online member. 